Hi everyone, this is going to be a very random short video about a day spent with a duck. Before I begin, don't mind the video. Some of them are in landscape, some of them in portrait. I wasn't planning on making a video out of this, but nevertheless, let me begin with the story. So my boyfriend decided to go on his morning walk and lo and behold, a little ducky came up to him out of nowhere and followed him home. We know the general gist of where the duck came from, but there were no other ducks around. And so this little buddy just followed him all the way to the house. This was the nicest duck we've ever met. He even came inside, we put our dogs away, but he, for some reason, attached himself to me pretty quickly. I was loving every bit of it because if I went to the kitchen, he went to the kitchen. If I went outside, he went outside. He was my little shadow and he was so, so cute. I knew we couldn't keep him though, so I figured I would just give him a really fun day before we go on our kayaks and find his little clan of ducks. He definitely enjoyed taking his naps. This is a Muscovy duck. They are actually an invasive species to Florida. I tried to see if he'd go in the lake by himself, but he wouldn't. He was attached to my hip, so instead I figured he could have some fun in the sprinkler. So that's what you see here. He is just the cutest. Let's go watch TV, duck. I made sure that we spent most of the day outside because after all he is a duck so he needs to forage for insects and get his proper nutrition. I did give him a bowl of water because like I said he wasn't about the lake for whatever reason. But being in Florida it's hot so periodically I would definitely need to go inside which he followed me and that was fine. He would just come onto the carpet and take a nice little nap. Now I know you see me petting this duck, but for reference of anyone watching this video, don't try to pet ducks, they're wild. Let them be wild animals. <laughs> With how sweet this duck was, you can just tell he came from a good area. Whoever was taking care of him and his surrounding ducks, they were feeding him, he was comfortable around humans. So I definitely had to make sure he got back to wherever he came from. Our first attempt was to see if he knew our usual visiting ducks. So you'll see all the duckies and all the birds, but unfortunately, he's still here. <laughs> They, this wasn't his mom, we knew that already because we know these ducks. We were just hoping they would take them. They didn't, so now he's still with us. So after dinner, we're gonna go on our kayaks and see if he'll follow us and go that way down the lake since that's where we think his clan is. He's so scared of everything. Oh, well, it's okay. He's just eating some bread. We do have one duck up on the fence too. Just to show you the saga continues, this is when the hawkies start coming out because they see a buffet lined up. But I think because I'm out here, they're not gonna pluck them. Also, I don't think they usually do it when they're in groups, but they just started appearing. After most of the ducks went on their merry way, this one stayed behind and they were kind of chilling together, drinking some water. So that was a good sign. I'm like, maybe you guys have hung out before. So with that, it was time to go on the kayaks and find this little duckies group of friends. You doing good. We first came across two Egyptian geese, which he did check out, but we knew those weren't his parents. Fortunately though, we did find the house that has a bunch of ducks, so he was able to go with them. Is his mom in that group? I don't know, but he's with them now, so that's good. We do plan on going back out on our kayaks just to kind of check in on him. So before this video ends, skip a couple days, let's check on Mr. Duck one last time, see if we can find him. So the house you see me creeping on is the house that we dropped him off, but we didn't see him. So we're like, you know what, let's just go around the bend. We'll check it out. We definitely spotted a bunch of ducks, but we couldn't find him. So we're like, you know what, we'll just circle back around. Hi, Mr. Iguana. And we're gonna go back to the house and check one more time. But it was definitely a good idea that we went down the bend because otherwise we would have missed these baby duckies. They are so cute when they're this tiny. This is gonna be hard to see, so I might do some still frames and zoom in, but we went back to the house, we saw our duck. Of course he would be hanging by their back door. I'm sure he goes inside their house. That's too funny. It was so good to see he was still at that yard a couple days later with his fellow ducks. He was happy, I was happy, and that is my story of the day I spent with the duck. He lived happily ever after. The end.